In World War II, the U.S. had a lot of different M1 designations. This is the M1 carbine. Not the M1 Garand or the M1 helmet or the M1 bazooka, but the little carbine. Uh, it shot its own proprietary 30 carbine, I think. Essentially, the idea behind this, they wanted uh, the secondary echelon troops to have something more than a uh, 45, Colt 45. But I think the rifle played a larger role than it was initially anticipated for. I know it got us some uh, crap in the Korean War uh, for not being enough penetration, but I've heard nothing but good things about this rifle, and I'm excited. Ooh. I decided to shoot it for the first time, the bolt hold open didn't hold it open that time. But there we go. That little button's what holds the bolt open. But uh, I'm here courtesy of Legacy, Collectible, Legacy Collectibles. And uh, Tom, tell me a little bit about this. First of all, thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks for um, having me. I'll just tell my, f my favorite story about the M1 carbine. This was my first rifle I ever bought. I was a student in Florida, and the first rifle I ever shot was an M1 carbine. Absolutely loved it. First of all, it's light and short, kind of like yeah. me, uh, or at least when I was in college. Light <laughs> and short. Uh, so if I were going to war, I I'd much rather carry something like this. I love the 15-round uh, magazine, and right. I'm going to let you go ahead and try it out. Well, thank you. Oh, and I should point out, this is a little bit of a later war variation with the adjustable sight. I think the initial one was a flip-up sight. Yep. And um, they later, I think, moved, they used to have a, the safety in the mag release, very similar, but they changed the safety to a flip, like a 90 degree flip. And it used to be two buttons, I think. So it's nice to have that differentiation so you don't accidentally drop the mag when you're trying to put the safety on. And so we got 15 rounds of 30 carbine. So let's see how she shoots. Oh, we got a little bit of a misfeed. That's okay. Good to go. We got an empty chamber. Wow, it's a fun little gun. It has a little more kick than I was expecting, but yeah. bad. It's a lot of fun to shoot, yeah. and it does, it, you don't get all the kick, and you never get a, sh a, a sore shoulder from no. that. No. I mean, not like 30 out 6, that, like an M1 Garand, that thing's going yeah. to let you know it's shot. I can see why the GIs loved it so much. Yeah, it's a nice little gun. Well, thanks for having me on. I really sure. appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to Gun, gun Story and Legacy Collectibles.